Hi guys. I'm trying to get my, there we go, pinning. Ooh. All right, there we go. All right, so hi everybody. Um, please let me know. I know I'm gonna, like I said, I'm not in my normal setting. And if I turn the lamp off behind me, it gets really, really dark, even with like my mom's like fancy little like work light she's got coming right here. If you really have a hard time seeing me, I can try to rearrange myself. Just let me know. Um, I, I'm trying to like work with what we got because if I go anywhere else, it's just going to be extremely noisy. There's like four or five of us in one house right now. So for that being said, um, for tonight's class, we're going to work on emotions and there's kind of a lot but it's not too long. Um, I don't think this class is going to be like, this isn't as many signs. So I'm thinking, especially since we don't have as all of our people, if we do end up needing to like end a little early, that's totally fine. If that works for you guys as well. So, all right, let's get started. First sign after I take a sip of water is the sign for emotions. And so the sign for emotions is going to be an E and you're going to put them like, up like you're gonna okay sorry I'm doing a terrible description of this one you got two E's and you're gonna brush them up against kind of near the center of your chest emotions you don't want to get too wide up here um especially with those A's because that can actually uh, mean is it aggression I think it's aggression I always say aggression a different way and then I get it wrong that's why I had a thing for myself that's the sign that gets me every time um but yeah so our little emotion then the next one I have is the sign for feelings or feeling. And this is the type, this is the specific type of how you are feeling, not as in like what's something, how something feels. And what you're going to do is it's going to be your middle finger. And again, that center of your chest, you're going to brush your middle finger up in the center of your chest and you want to brush it upwards, like almost towards your face. Feeling. Mm -hmm. The next one we have is happy, which I think we've done with like our happy Thanksgiving and Halloween. So happy. It's like we're patting our shoulders. <laughs> and then the next one I have is sad. So the way you do sad is you're going to have your hands kind of that open five in front of your face and you're going to bring them down. Now, with emotions, I always recommend to go as full of expressions as possible um, because that really like keys in just how like that really helps amplify your feelings. So if you're saying I'm feeling sad today or like sad and there's like nothing showing on your face, it's not gonna come across like if you're saying, like, I'm just really sad. You gotta get some facial expressions in there. Um, I even like bring my shoulders down. Like, I mean, I go like like I'm so sad I can't even keep myself up. No, excuse me. Then the next one is mad. So there are a couple ways to sign mad. The first one is going to be, again, this open, it's not a full like curve of C, but it's open-handed and you're going to go mad and you just brush across your face. Mad. Mad. Good. The next one is doing that same motion, but back and forth, like you were just like fuming, like going through. And usually they'll add like puffed out cheeks. Like you're just like, like you're about to just, like explode almost kind of that facial expression the next one I love how I said three but there's really like every time I think of them there's more um the next one is going to be like you are out to just explode like you are blowing up because you're just so angry so what it is is it's kind of similar to how we did our soda if you remember which was like this so you pull up then the little tab and then you flip it up or you slam it down what you're going to do is you're going to do that flip Wiggle your fingers, bring it up, and then slam it down. My visual is like you have a soda can and shake it up. You're so angry. You hold your anger in. And then when you just explode, it's like a soda can exploding. Like it just, and then you slam it back down. And that's like, I said, that one's like the meaning of like blow up. So it's like, I'm so angry. It's I've been exploding, things like that. The next one is you are boiling, like you're fuming. And so this one, let me back up a little. I can't, this face, she's got such, I love my mother, but she's got a thousand things in this little room. Okay. So what you're going to have is you're going to have, the lighting does not. Okay, there we go. So you're going to have your non-dominant hand kind of up across your chest, your dominance down here, and you're going to wiggle your fingers. 
And it's the emphasis of like, you have a, a, like a boiling pot of water and your prayers are the flames. Like you're just, you were so mad. You were fuming on the inside. Like I said, you really want to show like those facial expressions of just, like, I'm so mad. I know it's kind of a hard thing, especially if you're not like me who likes to show their, her emotions like on her face, like constantly. It takes a minute to get used to having to like make your face really like show those emotions. My sister was one of those. She really was like, when we were practicing these together, she'd be like, like, I mean, her face, she'd have to like actually think about moving her eyebrows and her mouth movements because it was just not so expression compared to mine. Okay. So then the next one is going to be scared. Now, I think we also did scared when we did Halloween for Haunted House, which was scared. Scared. Mm-hmm. Scared. Okay. The next one is tired. So the way you're going to do tired is if you remember how we had our sign for animal, which like had our hands like coming up above our armpits, same thing, but now you're just going to go tired and you just bring them down, tired, tired. Mm -hmm. I said, get those shoulders into it. I mean, I've had one kid who literally went tired and then just made the whole motion of falling to their, on top of their desk because they're like, I'm so tired. It was like a Monday morning and they're just so tired and they, I mean, it was a whole dramatic show. So, like, yeah. <laughs> now, this one, um, you can't technically do that one hand for tired. Um, I tend to not. And the reason for that is because this, when you do it one hand, this can also mean, like, fault. Like, it's my fault, your fault, that sort of thing. So, I typically, for tired, I try to keep the two-handed. Um, most people I do see do typically go with the two-handed. Or it ends up, if I do see someone doing the one hand, it's usually someone who um, may either have a little bit of speech or will even like mouth the word like tired. Like they have something to kind of emphasize that you're not talking about fault, you're talking about tired. All right. The next one is bored. Excuse me. And so what bored's going to be is it's going to be your point finger. You're going to have it on the side of your nose and then you twist it. Bored bored this is also boring so like if you're saying something is boring be like that it's, it's boring bored I think that one's just kind of funny I because and to me I'm thinking of like you know those kids in like school when they were like at least in tv shows or movies where the kid is so bored he's not paying attention he just starts picking his nose like that's the visual I have so I just always think about a kid who's just not even hiding how bored he is so yeah <laughs> The next one is upset. So for upset, you're going to have your dominant hand. It's going to start with your palm like facing down. And it's going to be, and you want to kind of have it a little bit higher up, like kind of at your collarbone area. And then you're going to go down and make like a circle. So you go from having the bomb, the base, like the inside of your hand facing down to facing up. Upset. And you don't want to go wide at this. So this one's kind of like the smaller you do is a little bit better because the if you go wide or go kind of closer to your stomach, that um, looks like the sign for pregnant. And that can be a very confusing conversation. If you're trying to say I'm upset when you sound pregnant, I could see some very interesting, very interesting conversations after that. <laughs> okay, the next one. Well, actually, no, let's stop there and go through the ones I've said. So I know I've got, whoa. Sorry, my watch was like trying to like do like the microphone and I just looked and I had like a list of all the words I've said past like five minutes and it just kept going. So I was having to like stop it. Okay, let's go back to our emotions. So we had emotions. Mm -hmm. Then we had feeling, feeling or feel. Then we have happy. So happy, mm -hmm. then sad, sad, sad. And we had our many different ways of mad. So our first one, mad, mad. Then the other one, mad, mad. 
Then we had our soda can mad, like blowing up, just like I'm fuming, not fuming, blowing up. All right, let's get into the next one. Then we had our boiling, like I'm fuming. And I typically with this one, like I have like that whole, like, like I'm digging my face, like I'm just so, ooh. That one's a fun one to use in conversation. I won't lie. I was one time really mad, but it's the first time I got to like use it. And I was so mad. I was like saying this. And then afterwards went, oh my gosh, that was so fun to sign. And I, and my, the person I was talking to looked at me and goes, are you really mad? Like, are you really? And I was like, I am, but I never got to use that sign before. <laughs> so it can be, it just was a lot of fun. Okay. Then we had scared, scared, scared. Then tired, tired, <clears throat> tired. And then our one little fault, because I did say that one, fault. Mm -hmm. If you hear my dog, there are dogs outside howling right now. And my little one is like trying to decide if she wants to join in or not. So I apologize if like you suddenly hear a lot of barking. She can't decide what she wants to do right now. Then we had bored. 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 Then upset. 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 Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, good. All right. Next one I have is embarrassed. So for embarrassed, you're going to have, again, those kind of like that five hand shape. And you're going to kind of come at the base of your face. Cannot talk today. You're going to brush upward. Embarrassed. And my visual is that it's like when you get, you know, when you get embarrassed, your face gets really red. It's like the redness is just coming up into your cheeks because you're embarrassed. Embarrassed. All right. The next one is calm. So calm is also going to be the same sign as the quiet. And what you're going to start is you're going to start with your two hands kind of it can be in a B shape or it can be just kind of an open shape. Either way, it's not super specific. You're going to start in here, center, and then go down. Calm. Do not have the elbow space for that. Calm. Mm -hmm. The next one is excited. So for excited, you're going to have your middle fingers. And you're going to do similar to our happy where we have that motion upward, but it's going to be our middle fingers and it's going to be like opposite. So if that makes sense, like you're making circles and it's excited. Mm -hmm. Some people when they get, or some kids, I know when they get really, really excited, they go so fast. They're like this. I mean, like, it's just like, I mean, it's like a helicopter flying that fast. Like, we're just like, whoa, I know you're saying excited, but it can be shown through. It's cute. They did it for Halloween. <laughs> Okay, the next one is chill, like as in like I'm chill, I'm cool, like I'm not really super wild. So what it is, is it's again, those five hand shape and you just bounce them back and forth. I'm calm, I'm chill. Mm -hmm. The reason I emphasize is because there is a sign for cool, like being like, that's cool, that's, you know, that awesome, that type of cool has its own sign, but the type of cool like, I'm cool, I'm calm. That sort of one is this. Okay. <clears throat> I'll add the cool one at the end of this because I think it did. Yes, I see it. It's right here. All right. The next one is frustrated. So for frustrated, you're gonna have two B's and you're going to put you're gonna like alternate putting them in front of your mouth. And you want to bring them close to your face. Like this is not one you keep like far away. You bring it like close to your face. And it's almost like, for me, I think it's that constant, like you're being blocked. Like every time you keep trying to go the next thing, you're being blocked. Like you just can't do it smoothly like you want to. I don't know why that's like my visual of frustration, but yeah. Frustration or frustrated. <clears throat> the next one is nosy. So for nosy, what you're going to do is you just tap your nose. Nosy. This is probably one of my most common signs ever with my students because they will ask you any and everything about, like, I mean, anything. They see something, they hear something, they're going to tell you immediately. They're like, 
is this true? Is this that? Blah, blah. I mean, they'll ask me things about other teachers. And I'm like, you're being nosy. It's not your business. And they're like, I mean, they get so offended and shocked. And I'm like, did you not hear what you just asked me? <laughs> like, No, I'm not telling you this. One student who wants to spread gossip with me. Now, he will tell me all the gossip. And I'm like, okay, I will hear this. But I'm not going to tell you it back. Sorry. You let me know what's going on with the other sixth graders. But I'm not telling you what's going on with teachers. Like, And he'll try to. And I just look at him like, oh, you're being nosy. And he gets so mad. He's like, I just told you about sixth grade. I was like, yeah, I know. That's, yeah, that was your decision. It's kind of a funny little like, because he still does it. He, he still hopes one day I'll tell him something. Okay. The next one is serious. So for serious, you're going to have that pointer finger. You're going to have it at the kind of at your chin and you get serious, serious. And it's a slight little like turn, like serious. Mm -hmm. Serious. Okay. Let's go back through those that we did. We had embarrassed. So embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Then calm. Calm, excited, excited, chill, chill, frustrated, frustrated. Nosy, nosy, and then serious, serious, serious. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one is funny. So for fun and funny, they are going to have two different ones. I'll show you both. So for funny, what you're going to do is you're going to have, again, that the three fingers, put them together. You're going to brush them across your nose. Funny. So this is if anything is funny. Um, for fun, what you'll do is you'll do that same motion one time, and then you'll bring it on top of your other two fingers. So fun, fun, fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think of like with funny is like, you could be like, aha, funny, but with like, oh, that's fun. Like, I don't know why my brain, again, separates them, but like you can say funny like this and it's repeat, repeated like the ha 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 ha. H ha ha, that fast movement, ha ha. I don't know if y'all caught that. I might've did that fast. Is that H A on top of that nose, making that motion. <clears throat> okay, the next one is silly. So silly is gonna be a Y. And you're gonna have it with your thumb towards your nose. You're gonna shake it back and forth, silly. Some people will do it with the two hands, silly. I only use that when I'm saying you're being so like extremely silly. Like I use that almost like to emphasize just how intense like silliness you are being right now. Silly. <clears throat> the next one is ignore. So ignore is going to be your four fingers. You're going to have your pointer finger on your nose and then you're going to move your hand away. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Mm -hmm. The next one is annoy. Excuse me. This one also is the sign for bother. And what it is going to be is you're going to have your hands in these closed five hands. And you're going to have your non-dominant sideways. Dominant is going to kind of land between the thumb and the pointer finger. And so bouncing it back and forth is like being annoying or bothering. Annoying. If you were to do one movement, like one hit, that's like, that's more like interrupt. So being like, oh, sorry to interrupt this conversation. I'm interrupting that. Mm -hmm. The next one is proud. So proud is going to be a thumbs up. You're going to bring it down kind of close to your belly button and you're just going to come up across. Think about like zipping up your jacket. It's that sort of motion with just your thumb. Proud. Proud. Okay. The next one is curious. 
So curious is that you're going to have it in this close F. You're not going to have it fully close, but just a little. And you're going to bring it to like your, your, I almost said cheek, sorry, your neck. And you're just going to go curious. Like you don't even like really, I shake it sometimes, but you can always just leave it too. Curious. Then the next one is confused. So for confused, what you're going to do is you're going to have these open C's and you're going to go confused. And it's like making just an alternate motion. Yeah. Confused. That can also be for confusing. Most of these signs can also be for that saying like, oh, that's confusing. She's confused. They are interchangeable. So you don't have to change anything to add that I in here, that ED. <clears throat> okay. Let's go back through those. So we had ended with, or we started with funny. So funny. Then fun. Mm -hmm. Fun. Then silly. Silly. Mm -hmm. Or silly. And like this one is like, I have it straight in a lot and then they just alternate their bouncing. Yeah, but they're still like straight in front of me. Then ignore, ignore, ignore. Then annoy, <clears throat> annoy or annoying. Then proud. Proud, proud, curious, curious, confused, confused. Okay. The next one I have is mean. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to show it first to you at like regular speed per side and then I'll slow it down so it's mean mean so what you're doing is you're going to start with these you're going to start with two five hand shape of fives kind of one on top of the other and you're going to slide them into thumbs up mean mean mm -hmm. mean mean the next one is rude there are two ways to sign rude. Um, one of them I typically try to recommend more than the other because the other one is also very similar to another word. Um, not a bad word. It's just it can be an awkward conversation if it was misinterpreted. So and I'll explain that. So the first one I have is a Y. And you're going to have your thumb start on the opposite corner of your mouth and bring it across your chin. Rude. 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 Mm -hmm. The other one for root is you have your non-dominant and a fist. Dominant has its pointer finger, middle finger, not pointer, and it goes across. Root. The reason this one can be confusing is because that is also the sign for naked. Like there's nothing. Yeah. So it's just a very, I know, trust me, there are some signs that like they use the same sign. You're like, but they have like totally different meanings. So that's why I wasn't like, hey, this, <laughs> like, keep this one. There's no, you can't, you can't mess that one up too much. But this would just change the whole conversation. The next one is nice. So I think we did this when we did nice. I think, did I show you guys the sign for nice to meet you? I don't know if I did. I know I said, like, we did, my name is, what is your name? I don't know if we did nice to meet you. Okay, so I'll show that. And if we have, it's a nice little extra refresher. So first we'll do nice. So nice is your non-dominant is palm up. Dominant is going to start the base and slide across. Nice. <clears throat> nice. Nice. So if you were going to say nice to meet you, what you would do is you would go nice. And then the sign for meet. Meet is going to be two pointer fingers. And you want to imagine these being like people, okay? With the, and so you want to have them kind of like facing each other. So like if I'm like this pointer, pointer finger and I'm looking at the other side and you're going to bring them together, meet. Mm -hmm. 
So nice, the meat, and then you just put you. So nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. And that one again, I would recommend when you're doing the when you're doing the meat, don't do it like sideways like this, because then you're saying it's nice for them to meet. It's very directional. Um, you want to make sure you're included in that, unless you're saying it's nice for them to meet, then go for it. But if you're saying like I, it's very nice to meet you as a person, you have that point if you're kind of in front of that person and this one in front of you. That meet. Mm -hmm. Again, it's that directional thing. How about I'm so I know I keep asking these different questions. If I explained directionals, like signs that use a direction involvement involving them. Yeah, because last week, remember, we did, someone asked about help. Right. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. So it's that same sort of thing. Um, there are certain signs that will use directions. Meet is one of those, um, where you just use your directions to help emphasize who you're talking about. And that's, it's a nice thing. Instead of having to say, like, those me's and you's and all that, you can blend them into that sentence. Okay. So then the next one I have is smart. So smart is going to be your middle finger. You're going to have it on the side of your uh, forehead and you're smart, smart. It's just a tiny little twist. I know the light's blocking me. Smart, smart. Mm -hmm. Some people add that little flick outward. You can also do that smart, smart. Okay. Then the next one I have is cool. So this was our little, the cool saying like, oh, she's a cool person. You're going to have it kind of in a little like pinch. You're going to put it at the corner of your mouth and you go cool. 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 Mm -hmm. You can also use this for saying like, you know how we'll say like, oh, that cool, 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 cool. You can use it as that cool. Good to know sentence. Cool. Okay, the next one is awkward. So for awkward, you're going to have two, three hand shapes. You're going to have them facing down and you go back and forth. Awkward. Awkward. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we'll do one more and then we'll go through those that we had. The next one is strange. So strange is going to be Again, that open, not again, I love how I say that. That open C, and you're going to go in front of your face, strange, strange, strange. Now, if you were talking about a stranger, someone you don't know, um, I know we have gotten into, I don't think we've gotten into any jobs and how we would describe people, which I think we, I think I have for part of it was today, tonight, tonight. Um, a lot of times when you're doing different types of jobs, you add that person, this, this make that shape of person. This is like the sign for person itself. Um, so like, for example, you have teacher, you do the sign for teach, which is hand puppets bouncing back and forth. Teach, er, so teacher. A lot of signs will do that is they will include um, the type of job, what it is, and they add that person to it. But Stranger is not one of them. <laughs> the reason I say this is because stranger, if you do strange person, um, that's like, that's like the, those are the ones that you're saying, that's a strange man. That's concerning. That's a strange woman. Like, okay. It's kind of, a, you want to stay clear. Um, so when you're, but you're talking about someone you don't know, oh, she's a stranger. I don't know her. Different way. I would, that's when I would add that person. I don't, I just don't know. Him. Like I would add that. I don't, which I'm sorry. I know I keep adding and I'm like, oh, wait, I don't know if you know this. No, you tap your forehead. Don't know is going to be you start here and you turn it outward. Don't know. Don't know. Mm -hmm. So I know I've added like five extra signs just now. I apologize. We'll, I will review them again. Um, but I was just wanting to say like, don't do the strange person sign unless you're talking about that person's kind of, that's a concern. That sort of, the negative way. I've had people think that before, and that's why I wanted to add that in, because that's what I think about every time I say strange. 
Okay, let's go through these uh, again, and then I'll go through the ones I added just now as well. So we had mean, 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 mm -hmm. rude, 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 nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Um, we had nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. We had smart, smart or smart, smart. Then cool, cool, cool. Then awkward, awkward, awkward. Then strange, strange, strange. And then my multiple signs I added all at once here. We had person, person, <laughs> person. Then we had teacher, which was teach. Mm -hmm person so teach her mm -hmm. then we had no like I know no mm -hmm. and then don't know don't know don't know and this is one you would also kind of like shake your head back and forth I, I don't know I don't know mm -hmm. The next one is busy. <clears throat> so for busy, this is also the sign for business. Um, there's just slight changes in the move, the motion is what makes it different. So you're gonna have two Bs. Your non-dominant hand is gonna go across. Dominant hand's gonna go back and forth. This is business, where you have this like almost like you're bouncing it back and forth across business. Mm -hmm. busy is busy busy you can either go back and forth or some people will shake it like are you busy busy or busy mm -hmm. the next one is surprised so surprise is going to be you're going to have like little think of baby sharks <laughs> you're going to have them next to your eyes and you're going to go surprise let me bring myself down surprise Surprise. And you want to make sure to almost like have a like jump like, oh, that surprised me. Surprise. That one also can be the sign for like I wake up as well as I woke up. That's where that not jumping motion kind of comes in. So I use the like I'm surprised like, oh, like I, my head is like jolting back. I was not expecting that versus I woke up is like a smooth like motion motion. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next one is friendly. So friendly is one that also is sort of directional. So if you're talking about like they're friendly to you or someone is very friendly, you would go, we have your open five hands and you're going to wiggle your fingers. Friendly, friendly, friendly. If you were saying someone was being friendly, like I like saying they're friendly, Friendly. 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 Mm -hmm. The next one is disappointed. So disappointed um, is also the same sign for miss, like miss you. <laughs> um, so this is where, again, facial expressions are going to make a difference of how you're trying to get your point across. And it's going to be disappointed. Disappointing. You just bring that pointer finger to your chin. Um, so if you're saying like, I really missed you, it's like, I missed you. Like, I missed you. Like, you almost want to look kind of happy. Like, I've missed you versus disappointed. That sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Then the next one is loyal. So loyal is going to be an L. And you're going to make kind of like a circular motion. And then you're going to 
top and across your shoulder. Loyal. 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 Mm -hmm. And then the next one I have is lazy. So lazy is going to be the same L. And instead of doing like that whole motion, you're just going to tap it across. Lazy. Mm -hmm. Lazy. Very similar, I know. Okay. Let's go through those. So we had busy or business, which I know I added the so business. Mm -hmm. And then busy. Busy. The next one was surprised. Surprise. Surprise. Mm -hmm. Then we had also wake up right there as well. Um, friendly, 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 or friendly. And you don't, and, th and with this one, I want to be like going upward too high. I know I keep going up. It's because I'm sitting um, and I'm visually thinking about if I was talking to someone, I'm going a little more. You want to have it directly, like directionally, like kind of towards their neck area, like friendly. Um, if you go high like this, you look more like you're talking about a mountain. Um, so that's why I wanted to emphasize not going high, kind of keeping it eye level almost or neck level, I guess, friendly. Then we had disappointed. 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 Then we had loyal. 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 And then lazy. Lazy. Okay, so those are all the types of um, signs. I That's my list right there for emotion. I know it's not fully emotions. It's also like kind of describing people, like how you would describe someone. Um, are there any words you can think of in that sort of generalized bubble that we did not sign? It can also be like um, different phrases if you're curious of like how if they did have, have a sign for that or how you would describe that. Um, honest. Oh, that's a good one. So for honest, this is also for honesty as well. You're going to have your non-dominant and um, have the palm up. Your dominant is going to be in that H shape and you're just going to have your H go across. Honest. Honest honest um this one you can do like like I said honesty or honestly um so like for example if I was talking to I know I always use student examples that's all I got going for me with school is like those are my prime examples but if I was looking at a student and they were telling me oh I didn't do it I did not do this I did not and I'm like honestly like I'll go honestly like I will use it for that as well any others that you guys can think of there's a couple of ones that I was thinking as we were going through um, that I was going to add a few of. One of them is when you're feeling down or, oh, that's also a good one. I'll add that one. Let me do this and then I'll come to that one. Um, for some people, you know, when we're saying like we're feeling down or we're feeling sad and some people will say I'm feeling blue or things like that. <clears throat> this was actually a really interesting conversation we had in my high school ASL class. Was someone said, could you say feeling blue? And our teacher was like, no, because they're because that's again, if you think literal, they're like, how could you feel blue? The color blue is not a feeling in that sense. So what some um what sign you can use, it's a little more, this one's the sign for depressed, which I know is like very, very negative kind of sign, but it's one that if you do see you, I want you to be able to be aware of. Um, and it's gonna be your middle fingers again. They start up here at the top and they go down. Like you are just, and they just kind of keep going downward. Yeah, depressed. So if you see that, um, most time people will use it for actually being serious, like it's really like that. Or it could be they're saying that's depressing, um, something like that sort. So I wanted to give that there. That was one that I had not seen as much. And then when I did see it, I was really like, wait, what? So, but, yeah. The next one um, that was asked was a uh, truth slash true. Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. I know I never 
ask me about stubborn. Oh, and I use that one often because I have really stubborn student that I tease him about. Okay. And he gets mad at me and I'd get mad at him for it. It's a full joke thing. Okay. For true and truth, what you're going to do is you're going to have that pointer finger and you're going to go under your chin. True. 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 Mm -hmm. True. Um, that also can be the sign for really, like really, like that really happened. Um, that typically will go more outward, whereas like true is like, it's true. Really true. Same sign though. It's just some add, like I said, I have like a little personal differences. I add just a bit. Um, while we're here, I'm also going to add false because true and false or like fake because we're here. It's going to be fake. So it's pointer finger, fake. You bring it across your chin. So true or false? True, real, or fake? Excuse me. Okay. The next one is stubborn. So stubborn is going to be full hand with your thumb on the side, and you're going to go stubborn. 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 Um. Oh, this will make me, I'm, I'm like missing one of my students because I'm thinking of this one. It's only been two days and I'm already like, oh my gosh. Because he'll be like, I'm not stubborn. I'm like, you so are. And he's like, no, I'm not. Like you're being stubborn about not being stubborn. And then he's like, oh, whatever. It's, it's a nice little joke we have. Okay. The next one is nervous. So nervous is going to be nervous. Like you shake your hands, like nervous nervous mm -hmm. like I'm nervous that did make me think of another one worried which let me put this in here before I forget real quick because if I don't I won't add these to the next time okay so for worried you're going to have these b's and you're going to go worried 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 so it's like, you know how we did when we did with our frustrated, we came upward, similar, but now you're going down. Worried. Worried. Mm hmm Okay. Let me see. Worried, honest. Ooh. Okay. So evil goes with, um, most of the time I see it with more with like the, the mischievous, which I showed for also was like, this, this is mischievous slash devil <laughs> um that's what I typically see if someone's talking about someone is really like evil I do see more like their fingers like it's almost like how we say you know when we spell it, we're like she is e-v-i-l that sort of thing is what I'll see in ASL is they're just like evil let's see I'm adding these so I don't forget them next time um Another one I was going to uh, have that came with nervous that came just worried is concerned. And it's going to be your two middle fingers and you tap them kind of back and forth. Like you alternate. That's And so being like, I'm concerned or that's concerning. That's concerned. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Obsessed. Oh, and then forget. Okay, that's always a good one too that I don't add. So obsessed is going to be, you're going to have a fist again. You're not, your dominant hand is going to have that again, that middle finger. And you're just going to go obsessed. And you just kind of keep that motion because you're like sticking with it. You're not letting it go. Obsessed. Um, Another one I'll add here as well. I'm adding so many. Oops. <laughs> is there is an ASL sign that really doesn't have like an English translation, but it's one that kind of you would use for something like you really love, but it doesn't like equate like, oh, I love it so much. It's, a, it's hard to explain because there's not really an English word that just matches with it. And what it is, it's technically the calling of it is called kiss fist. And what you do is you're gonna kiss the back of your fist. Like it's, it is so good, it's just amazing. Um, and that's always kind of a cool one because it's, it's a deaf sign. It's, I can't even, not deaf. It's an ASL sign that just doesn't translate. It's like, you know, there's certain Spanish translations, like sentences, sayings that if you translate it to English, it doesn't make the same, it doesn't mean the same thing. It doesn't make sense. That's the ASL. This is one of them. Okay. Um, forget. 
So what you're going to do for forget is again, there's two ways. I had, that's why I had to sign it. So I was signing it to myself because I was like, I use this one more, but this this one one too. Yeah. So the first way you can do is with open hand and you forgot, like you just brush across your forehead. It's like you, it's like it left your brain, forgot. Um, sometimes some people will go forget with that middle finger, forgot. Um, yeah, I had to momentarily check myself because I knew I was going to probably say this one. And I'd be like, it's not even the one I use anymore. And it's, it's not really. Um, but yeah, they're the same thing. Okay, let me add these. You guys are bringing so many and I, I'm trying to like add them all to my list. So I actually have this. Okay, the next one is anxious. Okay, anxious is going to be around the same thing as being that nervous thing. Like I'm anxious. Um, that's just kind of, that's the one I've seen with that usually. I'm trying to think of another way when you would use the word anxious that it wouldn't mean nervous. Like, oh, I'm anxious for this to be like, no, because I guess you could still say I'm anxious for this to be done. Like I'm nervous, I'm ready for it to be done. Um, you kind of would for like, if you were saying like that, it's not like necessarily you're nervous, you're just ready for it to be over. I would just be like, I'm ready for it to be finished. Like I'm ready, finished, like finished, ready kind of that sort of motion, that sort of way of it. There's certain times that like an English word doesn't really have a sign and you can describe it instead of having to like fingerspell anxious. Caring and loving. Okay. So there are, I'm going to pull the two from that love and care because <laughs> they do have two different signs. So the first sign for first sign is love. So love is, is those S's and they come across your chest love um I will say if you ever this one um if you're ever saying like I love you if you're talking to someone like platonically like it's just like oh I love you I would stick with this that we see all the time a lot of times when people go I love you that's more like that romantic like I have really deep feelings for you that's when I see this um people still will use like I mean you can still be like I love chocolate but I think of this as like being like, I have real deep feelings for it. Like I love it so much. <clears throat> and then care. So care is going to be two Ks. You're going to put them on top of each other. Um, If you're saying like, care, like caring, I had to think. Caring is that circular motion. Um, This also can be like, be careful. Care, caring, careful. Mm-hmm. Then, well, I type these uncomfortable. I'm trying to think because uncomfortable. Oh, wait, yes. I was like sitting here thinking, but I know the one I use and it's uncomfortable. It's like you're wiping your hands. Like this is just like, I'm uncomfortable. Like this is mm -mm, not comfortable. Um, Yeah. I've been having to use that one because I usually, I'm like, I usually say I'm just awkward. <laughs> That's always my go-to. I don't know. I secretly love this one because it's just so, it's just a quirky sign to me, like bouncing back and forth saying this is awkward. So, but yeah, uncomfortable. Okay. Are there any you guys can think of while I'm trying, when I, while I try to finish typing the rest of these out real quick? There we go. Okay. I mean, y'all did a great list. Usually, oh, wait, we have another one. Grateful. Okay. So grateful is also for appreciate. So what you're going to do is, you know how we have our please and it's in a circle across. You're going to use both hands and you're going to just make both. Like, I appreciate this. Like, I pre like you can do it up higher or like appreciate. It's a two hand motion. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me, appreciate. That's also what you would use for being like grateful. Um, Any other ones you guys can think of? You guys have brought so many. This is usually one of the ones that like, there's not, a, like it's not as many people can think of different like signs because, or different words because it's so mild insults to share. Okay, let's see. I have to think because 
I usually am the one watching them being said rather than the one doing them, um, but I can add some. All right, let me go. Oh, my list started back. Okay. Oh, I have one. I forgot about this one. Okay. Well, this, and when I say this is mild, this is very mild. It's the sign for ugly. Okay. So it's like how we say like, oh, that's ugly. You're ugly. That kind of thing. It's the same sign for ugly. So what you do for ugly is you're going to have your pointer finger across your, like, un, like almost like you're putting a mustache on your face and you curl it back. Ugly. <clears throat> ugly. So if you're saying like, oh, that's just really ugly and you're, or you're trying to be like insulting, like, mm, that's ugly ugly like you have to get your full face like mm. but there's another one that's super ugly like it is so ugly it is oh uh, and it's going to be both fingers across ugly ugly now this one oh oh those sixth grade girls get so offended they see this they are ready to fight when they oh they do not take kindly to that um i can also show y'all shut up but if you get into a fight with anybody and you're signing and they get really upset, you can't blame me for giving you this. So I know that's like a very mild one, but like, again, so shut up is shut up. It's like, you have like your open hand, like it's talking and you just bring it like, I want you to close. Shut up. Shut up. That one is another one I see constantly. Shut up. You shut up. You shut up. And I'm like, and you know, as a teacher, you can't say it, but you really want to go, you both shut up. Just sit down, focus. But Nah, can't do that. Um, let's see. Okay, another one is stupid. So stupid. I'm having a lot of fun with these slightly insulting ones. No, this is sorry. These are my two hands showing like the two I was gonna show you. Stupid and dumb. Sorry, <laughs> I realize I'm like I'm telling you guys this is the sign. No, you're gonna go. You're gonna start with this uh, two hand shape. You're gonna start. There it is. I had to think. You have it right here, and you're gonna flip it on your forehead stupid um and again this one can be for saying you're stupid or that's stupid okay then the next one i was going to say is dumb so dumb is going to be this a shape and you're just going to bring it to your forehead dumb that's dumb this is i had one student tell me kind of funny um and it was my it was my last period of the day and this is my smartest like highest level of class like they're really really smart um they're all smart, but this group is just a lot higher. And there's this one, he's such a smart kid. My goodness, is he just a stubborn boy? And like, I was trying to teach him a new thing in math. And he's one of those ones that if he doesn't see it and get it immediately, he's like, Ugh. and he'll go and go, that's stupid. This is stupid. Ma that math is stupid. And he just gets so like, Ugh. and I'm like, or he'll say dumb. And I'm like, can I show you it? And he'll be like, Ugh, fine, whatever. I show him how to solve. It and he goes, oh, wait, this is actually easy like I like this and I sit down I'm like you were insulting it literally two minutes ago he's just one of those kids um that did make me think of another one though uh easy so which I know is like easy and hard I'll show these I know they're not description of like people but like you know just to have them here and so easy is gonna be easy so your non-dominant is kind of like kind of in a curve and your dominant kind of is brushing up like oh this is easy a breeze yeah easy and then for hard you're gonna have these two v's two p signs turn them into like the little x's and you're gonna go hard 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 mm -hmm. that can be talking about like that wall is hard this book is hard or this math class is hard it's hard hard um Another one. I know we have three minutes left. I'm just throwing signs at you guys. I'm sorry. Um, the other one I was going to say is weird um, because that also can be kind of an insult. Um, so weird is going to be a W and you're going to go weird. Weird. And you like, I know I have that light weird, weird light going. Weird. 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 So let's see. Like, she's kind of nice, kind of rude, kind of that sort of thing. Okay, good. I was making sure I was, like, going to give you the right one. So for that one, it's also the one where you would be, like, if you're saying, like, oh, I'm so-so. Like, I'm okay. I'm not really, you know, super happy, but I'm not super sad, that kind of thing. You're going to have open hand, and you go back and forth. I'm so-so. 
think about being like on a teeter-totter and you're not really on one side or the other. So you'd be like, she's kind of, um, she's kind of nice, kind of mean. That's how I would say it. Kind of nice, kind of mean, that sort of thing. Um, oh, there was one more I was going to give. Oh, lame, lame. That one, um, if you are around any deaf children, you will probably see it because it is a very popular term for them. And it's lame or lame. Whoops, I did it wrong. Back of your hand, lame. Sometimes they'll do it with the L, lame. Um, fun fact with this one, this is actually technically, originally the sign is broke. Like you have no money. Like I am broke. I got no money. Um, and my second year teaching, I saw one of my students say that. And I asked him, I said, because I was so confused why he said it in class. Like we were in a, com we were talking about like a problem and he was struggling. He goes, and I went, it's not, what do you mean broke? Like I was so puzzled by this. And I kept asking, I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? And he was one who was a little bit further behind. So he couldn't like fingerspell the word and he couldn't describe it. He was sitting there like he didn't know how to describe it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You being broke, like having no money. What's the point of, wait, you're not focusing on money. We're talking about this became a big argument like not argument but a big discussion because I kept seeing him going this and I was like stop saying it you don't know what it means I don't know what it means oh it was a horrible thing because like I genuinely was like is he insulting me like is this like a bad word and I would ask my co-workers who were deaf and I was like what does it mean what does this mean and they go you mean broke like no money like they're and I was like I know that meaning he said it's not and so then I would sign it to them and they're like I don't know. None of us knew. We were all lost. Like we were so lost. It was a whole big ordeal. And then finally the next year, like, I mean, it, it lasted for a whole year, a whole year. This boy would use it. And I'm like, you don't know it. I don't know it. Why are we saying this time? Um, I had one, we had one class, my like mentor teacher um, who is deaf. She was, she had a class and one of the students signed it in her class. And she was like, what's that mean? And she asked him, and he, he was a little bit higher, so he could explain it. And he, he was like trying to explain it. And then he was like, oh, so he spelled it and he went lame. And she immediately went, okay. And we were next door neighbors at that point. And she said, hold on, came right over. She goes, Jillian, come here. And I'm like, well, I thought something was wrong. She goes, it's lame. <laughs> I was like, finally, I have like the, like, it drove me crazy y'all, a full year. And I'm not a person who can just like, I'm very impatient on that. I lost my marbles and I saw that student the next year and I went you meant the word lame lame and he's like yeah and I was like boy my math class was not lame because <laughs> then I finally understood what he was saying so when in doubt if you think of something just yeah it's I, a whole thing that even like a lot of co-workers a lot of deaf people didn't even know because it was a kid like kids were using it as a term so yeah a little fun story to add okay I know it's 631. Are there any last minute questions you guys have? Anything like that? Yes. So there are two ways to do Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving, where you bounce it twice. Like you're so thankful. Thanksgiving. The other one, which I don't use often, but I see a lot of people do. It's a cue. You're going to start at your chin and you bring it down. Because it's supposed to be the same for like turkey, pretty much. Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. So yeah, any other questions you guys have or are we y'all good? I think next Tuesday's class is our last class. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm trying to see what that would be. Oh, we haven't, have we, have we done animals? Yes. My classes have flip flop. That's why I was checking. I think the next one is going to be, our final one is, yes, is different types of jobs, um, a couple of different, it's really, I like to call it the hodgepodge class because it's just a different group, like a different types of categories of signs that aren't necessarily a huge one long list. So that's what we'll be doing next week. Um, so think of any signs or any words you guys would like to know. And for next week, bring them to class. Um, so yeah. If there aren't any more questions, I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will see you all next Tuesday. Bye guys.